Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over this grasshopper script that um, I'm basically doing a voiceover for a Christmas tree. And what this is, it's just an exercise in, um, you know, messing around in grasshopper and seeing what you come up with and how you're able to come up with uh, some forms like this. So this was not something that I was, you know, that I, you know, I already knew how to do. It's just something that I kind of on the fly uh, use as an exercise to, you know, uh, sharpen up my skills in uh, grasshopper. I'm by no means an expert. I'm sure there's easier ways and faster ways to do the things that I've done in this video, but it'll show you that, you know, you shouldn't be scared of using this program and it's actually a, a pretty fun uh, program to use if, if you have the right mindset. So as you can see, we start with the circle and with the slider of 10 and then we just offset it and move that offset up because what we're gonna do is create a um, lofted uh, like tapered cylinder which is gonna be our form for creating that Christmas tree that we're that we're uh, trying to come up with so as you can see we have that initial circle the offset circle that's moved up and what we're gonna do here it's basically just put those uh, create a surface in between those two lines using a loft which doesn't work initially but you have to then I think flatten it for it to uh, to work correct correctly so that's just one of the little tricks is if it doesn't work and you see that it should be working you know try flattening it and if it doesn't work flattening it try grafting it um, you know different ways to see if if, if it works um, and also try to keep your drawing organized as you're drawing so later on it's not so tricky to kind of put it back together um, also I like to create a cap um, after I use a loft because that creates a solid surface if that's what you want I usually like to create solids and put them together at the end uh, just to create a closed v-ref but you know it depends on really uh, what you're working on and and uh, the effect you're trying to get so right here I'm trying to move the form up but I'm not I'm having um, issues um, at the end here trying to you know transform this uh, these stacked cylinders um, into the Christmas tree form so that's why I kind of went back and I didn't end up doing this um, I ended up going back and starting from the beginning and using a completely different um, you know different take on it so that's what you're seeing here is uh, that I made some mistakes and I had to go back and think of a different approach for creating this form so that's what I've done here is I've gone back to that initial uh, closed B rep and I've made the decision of instead of just stacking them on top I'm gonna scale it first and then stack it so that's what you see here is I'm taking that form and I'm taking the the scale and I'm just gonna scale it into a, a smaller factor I'm using a slider here of 0.8 to see the if a factor of 0.8 would create a, a nice effect and I'm taking that resulting uh, scaled form and I'm moving it up the same amount as the height of that initial cylinder so if we if we change that to 0.9 it seems to be giving us uh, the effect that we're trying to look for which is a tapered form from bottom to top which is you know the typical Christmas tree type of form And so the idea is to do the same thing over again, all over again. Is take that scaled, take that scale in that same factor, and plug in that form that we just moved up. And then you know move it up again, in that same amount. And 
and so we go to the side view and yep that's kind of the look that we're trying to go for so we're going to continue in that same direction okay i'm cleaning it up and so now i'm just going to drag this over and copy it and then plug it in and that just you know using that uh, doing that over and over again you, we're gonna get a tapered um, form which is what we're going for so as you can see it's still parametric we, we can change the initial um, radius of the circle we can change the angle of the offset uh, we can change the width and what we're gonna want to do is create a top to it so that's that's the next step is create a point so we go if we go to vector and construct a point we're just gonna use the Z one the Z point up so we're just gonna create a point right now it's at zero 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 and we're gonna move it up 12 units um, but if we change it to 20 you can see it goes all the way up there so that's the point we're gonna extrude to now we have that top one which we're gonna deconstruct to get the top face so we have faces vertices and we have edges we're gonna take all the faces and we're gonna ex ex we're basically gonna extract the top face using a list item and we're gonna extrude that surface to a point and the point that we just created in the Z is going to be the point that we're going to extrude to. I also extrude to a point and also cap that way it's a solid so you'll see here we're putting in that initial surface and we're extruding to that point. So now we successfully have the Christmas tree form and you know all we need to create now is the trunk So to create the, the trunk, we're going to offset, and when we offset that initial um, curve or a circle, you see that we go to the outside, so we're going to create a negative again, and that way we offset in from that initial curve. Then we're going to use the basic extrude command, so we can extrude obviously in the z direction but it's also going to go down because we're not we don't want to go up into the tree we want to go down um, to create the tree base so that that's what i'm doing there with um with the extrusion and like i said i always like to cap so i type in cap and then it says cap holes, put it there, and hide the original because it always creates an, um, an overlap. And there we go, we have the Christmas tree. And now I'm just going to do a time lapse of the, of the rest and, and show how I adjust it and clean it up. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. You know, it's kind of straightforward, but it's, it's always good to have fun with, with, um, with Grasshopper and, you know, learn or sharpen up your skill, basically, because... You know, you never know what you're going to come up with when you when you create something like this that you're not really even sure uh, how to do it from the beginning. So uh, it does it, it is like an exercise. Here at the end, I just wanted to give you a little time lapse of uh, how I adjusted it, cleaned it up and also created a rendering scene um, just to have some fun. Also, uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you have ideas for any other videos and thank you very much for watching.